I'm Scorpion's Fatality, and this lovely, lovely gal. Uh, this is an old Build-A-Bear, who I cannot remember the date for. I think it was 2006, I cannot remember. Um, but anyhow, she has a she slash he, I don't remember the name, and I'm going to be renaming all of them. Uh, oh, it finally died. <laughs> well, let's pull out Evie so I can demonstrate what this is. There we go. It's a sound chip. Well, it's a sound disc. Maybe I gotta move you in the way. And basically, you just squeeze it, and then it makes noise. Also, what's hilarious, though, is that they make it so once it's in, if it dies, you gotta just buy a whole new thing. And it bothers me. So, um, I am going to be showing you how the heck do I get that out? Because you can't wash those. You absolutely cannot wash those. So, I would use my X-Acto knife, but I'm lazy. We got a pair of fabric scissors. And now, you don't want to really just chop the fur up because this stuff does not grow back. And most likely, some of this stuff is, uh, it's basically gone for good. It's discontinued. With my cream fur that I can't find. Thanks, Joannes. Um, so anyhow... There's going to be, in all build a if you actually watch them, whenever they fill it, they fill it from the back, and there's always a hole. And then they sew, sew it up. They used to sew it up. Now they just use strings, and they just pull them, and it's dumb. Whoever made that decision, uh, you're, you're a bad person. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the main seam point and be a bad person. I would recommend using a seam ripper, yes, but I'm a, I'm a crazy person, so I'm just using my scissors, making a tiny hole, and then just kind of working my way in there. We don't need a big hole. And here is their original thread. And now, what I'm going to do... Wow, that thread goes far back. This is like quilting thread, which is crazy. Uh, he slash she was in the attic, so they were freezing cold. I have to look over. Why is your heart in your butt? Also, um, I have another video that's going to be coming out, but these are actually the hearts that go into Build-A-Bears, and I am it was in the butt, okay? And, um, the way I can tell this is slightly newer, slightly... It's a little bit more puffy, and it's just, it's just the fabric, really. We're gonna shove that into the actual chest, so it's a little bit nicer. There you go, buddy. I have a second video that I'm gonna be uploading. Alright, and now, here comes the hard part. Let's get down in there. And I'm actually going to pause the video because it's gonna take a while. So, yes, yeah, see you in a moment. Alright, so I got it out with a lot of struggles. And how you know this thing is old? They don't do them in the bags anymore with the actual sound piece inside. Uh, <laughs> these are really old. Uh, they do a thinner version, uh, and then it's like a, it, it's still this, but it's thinner. Um, they'll put it on this machine, and then they'll actually download the file into it via Bluetooth. At, I believe it's Bluetooth, I don't know. Uh, and then they'll basically just, they'll get the file on, the sound, you'll play it a few times, and then they shove it in the foot. And what they do now is, since Build-A-Bears now have their logo on the foot as well, uh, they will put it in that foot. And I think it's really dumb uh, to use a vinyl. Alright, so anyway... Enough of Scorpion rambling. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just stitch him back up, and you don't want to you don't want to do the entire thing a blanket stitch, but you want to start and you want to just shove your thread in there as best you can. But I'm not going to be doing this as a sewing tutorial. I already have a sewing tutorial um, on another Build a Bear, but I'm using a Jim Henson slash Muppet stitch. There's tons of other tutorials if. Uh, mine doesn't make sense, um, but 
I mean, you can do whatever stitch you'd like. You can do a blanket all the way down, or you could do a whip stitch, a ladder. You could do whatever the heck you want. It's just a uh, personal preference that I use a uh, Jim Henson stitch, and I've gotten pretty fast at it. It can look a little bit sloppy, but um, also you always want to end it with a blanket stitch just so your your thread stays. And then you do want to knot the thread, but I'm lazy and I have faith in my st stitching. So yeah, there we. Oh come on. Okay, I have to fix that hole because I didn't. I realized I didn't pull back far enough. Anyway, so again, that's the little thing. <laughs> also, um, please, please, please be careful when you do this. If if you're if you don't know how to sew, there's a lot of basic sewing tutorials out there. Just use a blanket stitch. You don't have to do anything fancy. Uh, but also make sure you use a thread that is the same color as the fabric. If you have a uh, multicolored fabric, uh, go with the thread that it go with the color like if there's pink and purple and there's more purple go with purple thread or go with the area go with the thread go with the color where you're sewing so yeah anyway thanks for watching bye